let me also tell you one big development that's just taken place at, at times uh, during the times that we're living in right now where there have been extremely high number of covid cases leading to a massive burden on our testing labs in almost most of the cities it's it's uh, it's a dream now if you actually get your rt pcr results within a few hours 24 hours is what it was taking many many months ago in most places now it takes you through two days three days sometimes even longer sometimes the report doesn't come in and you try again you give your samples again that's because of the way these labs have been overburdened and with us not having any other option now as policy is changed we are also getting more options in place one of those options is a rapid test kit that has now been created and has gotten clearance from the government that you can use yourself at home this is actually a rapid test kit that's been made by my lab discovery and has now gotten the government's approval so all uh, you know uh, people who are beginning to see initial symptoms or suspect so can take this test at home itself however of course symptomatic individuals uh, who test negative on this will then have to follow it up with an rt pcr or uh, uh, rt pcr test as well because remember rapid antigen tests don't are not extremely always foolproof but let's try and understand about this home test kit how it works uh, you know what is the percentage of positives versus showing false positives uh, those kind of things that we want to understand and joining me right now is dr gautam wankere director for medical affairs at my lab discovery solutions dr wankere thank you for speaking with us uh, to begin with when can we expect these home test kits to hit the markets we hope that the kits will hit the market by early or middle of next week so early or middle of next week you say can you give us a sense of what is the uh, you know manufacturing capacity you have right now what's the stock that you are ready with already See, our capacity is about 10 lakh tests a day but we also understand that the, there's a chance of the of the demand increasing more people wanting to carry out such a test so i think we can easily meet target of about a crore tests a week that's about 10 million tests a week depending on the on the demand of the test okay interesting uh, let, let's try and understand how it works dr wankere you know we, we uh, we've been running the video that your company has released but for the understanding of our viewers who are tuning in right now it's it's a nasal swab test that we can do at home um, using a kit and a solution that's present and it gives us results in 15 to 20 minutes do we require any medical guidance at all uh, through this entire process or a verification or a follow up that has to be done right so i think you got it right uh, it's a very simple test in fact the whole idea of the test was to make it something which can be carried out by a person who's not medically trained and that's why it's known as the over the counter or the self test <laughs> we we try to replace the 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 classical nasopharyngeal swab with a nasal swab now the biggest difference between these is uh, is that a nasopharyngeal swab requires that the sample should be correct, collected from the back of the throat whereas a nasal swab which has been tested or used with this kit requires that the sample just has to be collected from your nose so it does not require any any medical training as such we have a very educative video which goes along with that so any lay person just if he or she understands the video it's a very informative video very simple to use if you follow it step by step it's a, it's, it's a simple it's a fairly simple test to carry out okay uh, there is also an app that we have to refer to is that largely to keep uh, uh, you know a central system informed whether we have tested positive or negative or is there additional information uh, that comes in from there what's the concept of this app that's present so there are two purposes of the app one as you rightly pointed out is that the data which is collected during the test all the positives and the, and the negative results are uh, then directly given to icmr in real time that's first number 2 the app which is driven by artificial intelligence also reads the results and it also interprets the results for you 
So if someone is not able to clearly distinguish between a positive or a negative, sometimes the results may have a very faint line. Someone doesn't know how to interpret whether a control line was there or a test line was there. The app has the ability to analyze the reports, analyze the visuals uh, of the test, and then give you a positive or a negative result. So it, is a, it has the ability to look at the picture that we click and then also confirm to us whether it's positive or negative? Exactly. That's what the app does. So basically, when you start carrying out the test, you first enter the, uh, your, your details, your name and everything else, and you click a photo of the, of the test card. Now, every test card has a unique number. So once you click that photo, it, tell, it enters your data linked to that particular card. Now the app says, wait for 15 minutes. That's because I, an ideal result should be read between 15 to 20 minutes. So after 15 minutes, there's an alarm which comes and it asks you to again focus the camera of your phone onto the, onto the test card, right? After that, it clicks the photo. I mean, you click on the photo button. It interprets the result and tells you whether a person is positive or not. But irrespective of the app, will I know the result from the cart itself or will it not show on that? <clears throat> you can test. Even, even if you don't have an access to an app, you can, if you follow the instructions properly, you are able to fairly right. easily find out whether the result is positive or negative. Yeah. Okay, for, for our viewers to also know, you know, anybody who uses it uh, uh, in the coming days, uh, what is the possibility of a false report, a false positive or a false negative when it comes to this kit? So being a rapid antigen test based card, uh, this, carry, this card carries 100% positive predictive value, which means that if the result is positive on the card, it's considered a true positive. You do not have to test that person again. He or she will be considered a true COVID positive individual. Now, the only problem is if in case someone has symptoms and if he or she comes out to be negative on this particular on this particular test so icmr has given very very clear guidelines number 1 people who are symptomatic number 2 people who have come in contact with known confirmed positive cases of covid will be using this particular test card if a person is positive uh, if sorry if a person is negative yet the person has typical symptoms of covid the person continues to isolate himself, and he or she then gets tested on an RT-PCR uh, uh, test from a, from a lab. That's how ICMR has asked us to convey the message to the users. Okay, so... Right, so like any other rapid antigen, if, you, if it's negative on this kit, then you go ahead and follow it up with an RT-PCR uh, test any which way. So if it's positive, then you know, uh, you know what has to be done, basis, what your symptoms are, and then go and refer to a doctor. Dr. Vankere, exactly. I'm going to ask you now a little bit more about availability. Uh, because, right. you know, obviously <clears throat> everybody would want to get their hands on a, on a kit like this because it's so convenient. We don't have yes. to run around to get an appointment, uh, uh, you know, to, to wait for days together for a test result to come. So is there a strategy in place of how you will release it in the markets? Is it uh, because almost every state would want some, uh, would want to get some in their markets? Mm -hmm. Right, that's a very important uh, aspect you were talking about. One is the development of the tests, the, the, uh, the, you know, the sensitivity and everything. The other important part is the availability of the test. So while we were working on the development of the test, the sales and the, and the business development team of my lab was also talking to a large number of channel partners, both online and offline. And the plan is that with the help of our channel partners, we'll ensure that this particular test is available to Ideally, 100%, but at least 95% of the, of the territory, of the PIN codes of the country. So we have an understanding so that it can go to the, to the pharmacies of at least 95% of the country. And we're not trying to restrict it to a few geographies, not a few cities or a state. Everyone will have an access and an opportunity to, uh, to buy this card and, and then carry out the test. 
Okay, uh, and you're saying you are obviously as you go along, uh, ramp up the production of this and more and more of these can be available. Anything else that a user needs to watch out for, any specific precautions we need to take or, or information that we need to be aware of while we uh, use this kit? Yes, there are a couple of uh, important uh, housekeeping points, if I might add over here. Number one is the discard of, uh, of, the, of the products, basically. So we've tried to follow every possible guideline given by the Central Pollution Control Board. Uh, the card comes with a, with a lysis solution, which ensures that the, that the virus becomes non-infective. We provide a self-sealing zip pouch along with the, cat, with, the, with the kit. So it's very important that the person who carries out the test puts all the components into that self-sealing uh, self pouch and then you discards it properly. That's a very important uh, guideline because ultimately this is a human fluid. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a secretion of the body which will go into the test, uh, test kit. So that's a very important aspect that we all of us have to follow. Okay, thank you so much for pointing that out and I think that's a very great piece of uh, advisory and suggestion uh, that you are putting out and you know not just for this but any other kind of medical stuff that we use at home we have to be extremely careful of how we dispose it of. Thank you so much uh, Dr. Vankere and all the best to you uh, with this new test kit that you're bringing into the markets. Thank you so much. Thanks.